In a division problem, the dividend tells us how much we have and the divisor tells us how we group it. How can we determine which numbers can be divisible by 11 without any remainders? Well, there's a couple ways to determine that. Let's start by doing an example. Here we have a dividend of 22 items that I wanted to divide into my divisor of 11 groups. If 22 is divisible by 11, then I should be able to put the same number of items in each group without having any remainders. As we go through, we can see that if I have 22 items split into 11 groups, I have two items in each group. So 22 is divisible by 11. Matter of fact, there's a pattern to all the numbers under 100 that are divisible by 11. If a value is divisible by 11, it will have the same digit in the ones and the tens place. So under 100, this would include 11, 22 as we see here, 33, 44, 55, 66, 77, 88, and 99. Let's test this out again with a different value. Here we have a dividend of 16 that we want to split into 11 groups. If 16 is divisible by 11, then I should be able to put the same number of items in each group and not have any remainders. As we go through, we can see that we can put one item into each group, but then I have five items left over. I can't put these five items evenly into these 11 groups. So 16 divided by 11 gives me one remainder five. If we compare that to our rule so far, 16 is under 100. So to be divisible by 11, it should have the same digits in the ones place and the tens place. 16 has a one in the ones place and a six in a tens place. That's two different digits. So it shouldn't be divisible by 11, which is what we see here in our example. What happens when our dividend is larger than 100? How do we check to see if it's still divisible by 11? Well, there's a few steps we can follow. For something like 583 divided by 11, the first thing we need to do is subtract the digits in the ones place from the numbers formed by the remaining digits. So that means for 583, I'm gonna have to do 58 minus three. 58 minus three leaves me with 55. If my remaining value is divisible by 11, then that tells me my original value is gonna be divisible by 11. We know that 55 is going to be divisible by by 11. It has the same digits in the ones and the tens place. 55 divided by 11 comes out to be five. If we want to test to make sure we're right, we can do 583 divided by 11. 11 goes into 58 five times. Subtract out the 55 that leaves me with three, bring down my three. 11 goes into 33 three times with none left over. So as we predicted, 583 is divisible by 11 with no remainders. Let's test this out on another example. Here I have 2,794 divided by 11. Well, the the first thing I need to do is subtract the ones place from the remaining digits. So that means I would need to do 279 minus four. Well, 279 minus four is 275. I still don't know if 275 is divisible by 11, but the good news is we can repeat that process for 275. To do that, again, I would subtract the ones place from the remaining digits. So that means I would do 27 minus five. 27 minus five leaves me with 22. I know that 22 is going to be divisible by 11 because again, we have the same digits in the ones and the tens places. I know 22 divided by 11 gives me two. So I'm gonna predict that this again means my original number is going to be divisible by 11. If we solve it to test it out, I have 2,794 divided by 11. 11 goes into 27 twice, that's 22. That leaves me with five, bring down my nine. 11 goes into 55 five times, that leaves me with four, bring down my other four. 11 goes into 44 four times, and as predicted, we have no remainders. 2,794 divided by 11 gives me 254.